today's video, we're going to be taking a look at seven different examples of the binomial distribution with the help of Python. We're going to be utilizing different libraries such as NumPy, SciPy, Matplotlib, as well as Seaborn to calculate some results, as well as plot three different types of graphs. But before we jump into some Python code, I want to go over a little bit more information of exactly what a binomial distribution is. Okay, so a little more information on the binomial distribution before we start coding in Python. So first, the binomial distribution represents the probability distribution of a random variable that counts number of successes in a fixed number of independent trials. Each trial represents either a success or a failure. So some examples, right? A coin flip, heads, tails, a new subscriber from watching a YouTube video, subscribe or not subscribe. Intent if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. And a pitcher in baseball throwing a strike, right? Strike versus a ball. Now this is discrete. It is not continuous. And a few terms that you should know, success, which is our P probability, also known as probability at one trial. So in my example of new subscribers, 2.5% of views turn into subscribers. That's my data right now so far on my channel. Uh, and uh, you can see P for X, 0 0.025. And then failure is 0 0.975. Trials, video gets 1,000 views. And then size, look at 100 different videos. Right. So by number of distribution, we're going to look at 100 videos that have 1000 views and take a look at the subscribers on that side of things. So a few different concepts. Right. Um, I want to explain really quick the difference between binomial and Bernoulli. So binomial outcomes, uh, multiple trials of an event where Bernoulli is one trial of an uh, event. Right. So think about it like if you're doing a coin flip, right, a binomial is going to look at X amount of coin flips and X amount of events. So let's say we want to look at series of 10 coin flips and we want to look at 100 different of those versus Bernoulli, right? We look at 100 singular coin flips. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, we're also going to take a look at the PMF, which is the probability mass function, exact probability of a number of events happening, and the CDF, cumulative distribution function, probability of a value less or equal to the number of events. We're going to apply all three of these in this video. So Hope you guys are ready and uh, let's start coding in Python. All right, so let's get started with our imports. So import numpy as np from scipy.stats import binome import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and lastly import seaborn as SNS. Okay, now that those are in, let's set up a random seed. So we'll say np.random seed, and we'll put 12 in over here. That way you guys can replicate uh, what I end up doing. Now, some videos I forget to do this, so uh, I do apologize on those, but this video, I made sure to do it. So example one, we're gonna create this in NumPy, create a binomial di distribution in NumPy, and we're gonna take a look at YouTube subs example. So let's do that. So first thing, the success rate. So P success subs, and we already talked about that. It's gonna be 0 0.025, right? 2.5%, we'll say N trials subs. And we're watching 100 videos. We're looking at 100 videos. So 100 over here. And uh, actually, the trial should be 1,000. I apologize. Uh, the size of the videos is going to be 100. So size videos is going to be 100. 100 videos, 1,000 views per video, and 2.5%. Uh, OK, so we should be good now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say NumPy samples equals, and we're going to say NP dot random dot binomial and inside over here we'll say of n equals n trials subs p equals p success subs and then size equals size videos apologize for this getting in the way hopefully you guys can follow through still so n equals n trial subs, p equals p success sub size equals size videos. Great. And then just let's print this out to make sure that this is working properly. So 
for a video, let's say it gets a thousand views, expecting about 25 subscribers. Some videos do better, some do worse. So let's see what happens over here. So 20, 28, 22, 15, 32. Yeah, this, this looks like it's working as intended. So awesome, we uh, built out our first example. Let's take a look at example number two. Example two. Uh, so we're gonna do the coin flip and we're gonna do this in SciPy. So SciPy for this example. So what we're gonna start off with is P success coin, success coin. And this is 0 0.5, so pretty basic there. Uh, then we'll do end trials coin. We'll say that's 50, yeah, 50 uh, coin flips. Then we're gonna do end trials. So we're gonna look at 50 trials. And uh, let's look at size of the coin flips, 25. So size coin flips is 25. Make sure I run both of those. And uh, let's build the SciPy samples out. So SciPy samples equals, and we'll do binome, the RVS. We'll say N equals N Charles coin. P equals P success coin. And then size equals our size of the coin flips. This should be n trials. I think in my example code, I put n trials coin. Just looking at that now. But this should work over here. Let's print this out. So print, and we'll print out our SciPy samples. And you can see, right? The first one, we did 50 coin flips, right? And uh, 24 were, let's say, heads. And then 26, 26, 26. Man, three in a row, 26. 23, 20, and it, it keeps going forward, right? Uh, most just eyeballing this looks like 30 and our lowest is 20. I don't see anything in the teens. No, I don't. So that is a uh, first example, right? NumPy and SciPy, they're almost identical to build these out. So whatever you prefer, right? I think personally I'd use NumPy just because I use NumPy a lot when creating different distributions, but feel free to use SciPy. All right, so example three, let's look at PMF. And PMF, right, is exact occurrences. So probability of exact occurrences, prob of exact occurrences. And let's take a look at our heads example. So we'll say binome.pmf, we'll say n equals n trials coin. We'll look at k equals 25, right? So, and then also p equals success, p success coin. I think this is n trials again, because I forgot to put coin above. And you can see we have about 11% probability that we hit exactly 25 heads when we're taking a look at this, right? If we go back above for our coin flips, right, we have of these over here, and we have 11% probability that we exactly get it with our PMF. Now, let's take a look at our CDF. So example four, CDF. And this is a probability of less or equal to K occurrences. So we'll say less or equal to K occurrences. And let's take a look at our example of subscribers. So how we can do that, is we'll go over here and we'll say binome.cdf and in over here we'll have n and trials i think it's subs that we had above let's say we're going to look at 25 i'm good with that and p equals p success and we'll put subs over here and you can see it's 0 0.55 Right, so 55% probability that we hit 25 or less subscribers on a video that has 1,000 views. Awesome. And we could do the same thing with coins. Like it's gonna be very similar. We just change out their N by K. We're still looking at 25 and just change out your P over here. Um, awesome. So what I wanna do now is look at example five. 
and we're gonna be plot a coin histogram. So histogram over here. And let's do that. So plt dot figure, say fig size equals eight six plt dot hist and uh, scipy samples then bins equals ten color equals sky blue and then edge color equals black. Then plt.title, histogram, coin flips, plt.xlabel, success, plt.ylabel, frequency, and plt.show. Hopefully no errors, and uh, we'll get a nice little chart. You can see histogram of coin flips, right? We go from 20 to 30. How this is built out here. Okay. And uh, now what we're going to take a look at is plotting PMF and then also plotting our CDF. So let's also plot our coin flip PMF. So example six, plot coin flip. PMF and uh, yeah, so we'll have on the X axis this time instead of frequency is probability and all of our success still here and here. Um, so let's see that. So what we're gonna do is we'll have X equals NP dot arrange zero N trials coin plus one. Is it's the end trials, right? Let me just double check. Yeah, I think it's end trials. I put in this one. Coin flip is end trials, not coin. I'm gonna get roasted in the comment section, but that's all right. Um, well, PMF over here equals binome dot PMF of X of N equals and trials and then p equals p underscore success coin okay then what we have next is we'll plot so let's just have these two up here first and then we'll plot we're still going to have a lot of the same stuff but we're just going to copy and we're going to change it, some things out so go to the eight by six then what we'll have over here is a stem. So plt.stem. And inside over here of x of PMF. And then we'll have use line collection equals true. So all of that. All right. We'll say PMF, then instead of success, well, actually, X label is still success. Our Y label is going to be probability. And we should be good. So let's plot that. You can see essentially a normal distribution. We're on 25. It's expected. Right? We're not expecting 50. We're not expecting zero. Somewhere in this. And lastly, we can plot a CDF, and a CDF can be similar, but a CDF should continue to grow, right? So a lot of these probabilities are going to be the same. Well, not the same, but um, you'll see it going up like this, and uh, it's going to continue to go upwards. So let's build that out. So example, where are we on, 7? Yeah, example 7 is our CDF. Let's get started. So I'm just gonna copy this over here. Let's see what I had for my example code. So we still have our X arrange as well, which we'll need. And we'll have to set our CDF this time. So binome.cdf 
our CDF solves X, N trials, P success, and arrange zero, N trials plus one. So that's all the same on here. We're good on that side of things. And then let's just plot everything. So kill T dot plot will X here. Then we have RCDF and uh, a few other things we have to slightly change on this one. So we'll do over here is, and then also LW equals two and we'll CDF coin flips success and uh, probability is a cumulative because our CDF continues to scale. I think that should be it, right? Yeah. So you can see like we have essentially zero over here. It scales quite fast. Once we get to 0 0.25, right? We're at like, uh, or sorry, once we get to 25 successes, we're gonna be at like 0 0.55. And as we get farther over here, about 100% probability. I mean, if you think about it, if you go to 50, it's guaranteed 100%, 49, 48, 47, very close to 100% probability. Is you have everything from zero to 47, just a few cases where that does not happen. So yeah, I think that's it on the Python side of things, what I wanna show you guys today. But just to recap, right? You, by using these four libraries, first I showed you how we can create an example with YouTube subscribers with NumPy. Then I showed you an example, we can do this with SciPy, right? Then we looked at the PMF, which is our exact occurrences. Then we looked at our CDF, which is less or equal to K occurrences. Then I showed you how we can plot histogram. Then I looked at the PMF. And then I also took a look at this CDF. And uh, I hope you guys learned something new. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on the binomial distribution. If you learned something new, make sure to subscribe to the channel. One of our goals is to reach 100,000 subscribers in 2025 and making sure we upload at least three high quality videos every single week. Now, if you want to learn even more about statistics, I have a few videos linked down below as well as a playlist right over here that I think you should check out.